Hi guys, in today's video I want to talk to you about homebrew cask. Now if you haven't seen my video on homebrew that I made previously, please check that out. But in today's video I want to show you how great homebrew cask is and that it allows you to install desktop applications via the command line. So let's hop on the computer and explore this a little bit. In my previous video I talked about homebrew so go check that out uh, it's valuable information as to what we're gonna do here so homebrew cask requires homebrew and it extends homebrew and allows you to install desktop apps via command line so to get cask all you got to do is run this command here so let's do that All right. Okay, great. Let's see what kind of commands I can run here. Brew cask. Let's check out and see what's installed in my applications here. I don't have Spotify on here. And as you can see, I don't have Spotify. So let's install Spotify. So if I do brew cask install spotify it's going out and finding spotify downloading it all right boom spotify it's now installed on my computer Let's uninstall brew cask uninstall Spotify. As you can see, it's now gone. What does this give us? So let's create a shell script that installs a couple pieces of software. So I'm going to move to my desktop and I'm going to create a shell script and let's see, let me think. Let's do let's see if I can type today. And let's install uh, VLC player, uh, brew, cask. Let's install Spotify again. Let's just do that for now. We run this and it's going out, installing VLC, and then going and downloading Spotify. So we'll let this thing run and I'll show you what we have at the end. All right, so that's completed and we go to our finder, we have VLC, and we should have Spotify installed. This is a very automated way to install desktop applications. Now, in order to find what is available on their GitHub page, caskroom.github.io, you can go to this search, and you can search for applications. So if you wanted to install Firefox, You can click on this and run this command and install that in your script. If you wanted to install CodeKit, which I've made previously made a video on, CodeKit, you could do Atom, uh, a great text editor. If you use 1Password, 
you can do that or last pass there's a pretty substantial list of applications that they support here and if they don't the community submits applications to it every day and it just gets better and better i keep a running file in my github repo dedicated to setting up a new machine and one of the files includes nothing but homebrew cask applications that as I add an application and I find that I really use it every day, I just add it to that file. And then down the road, when I go to set up a new machine, all of those apps get included automatically. It's really fantastic way to set up a new machine. Uh, I much prefer it to using the Mac App Store, where it's just going down a list and clicking install, install, install over and over and over. This is much more open if you prefer that, and it's much more automated. Uh, I find it to be a absolutely great tool. So if you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up button below. I'll put more information and resources in the description below. If you want more content about development and want to learn more, please feel free to subscribe and hit the bell to get notification when I publish new content. Until next time, always be kind and always be learning. Cheers.